Hi viewers, I thought some of you might find this video useful so I wanted to put this together for you. Um, rather than taking pictures of coins like that in your hand um, where people can't really see the detail of your coin I'll um, share with you how I use my phone to take photographs. So let's get straight on with it. Now it's always good to have a background for the photograph of your coin. Now I have tried using uh, just a piece of white paper but it does have a tendency to upset the automatic white balance in your camera. As you will see as I take the piece of paper away the colour of the table changes. So I prefer to use a black background and uh, this is just a spare bit of baize off of one of my slides and you put the coin on the baize or black whatever it could be a black piece of card anything and unusually my coffee cup is empty that's because I'm going to use it as a stand for my phone to take the photograph so you don't get camera shake um, the phone is just a simple Samsung and I'm sure most phones have similar features and you just go to camera mode uh, I'm just gonna sit the phone over the coin as you can see there centralize it take the picture and hopefully this will show up um, I'm going to go to edit the photograph and click on edit and I'm going to transform that picture and as I upload most of mine to Instagram the ratio is best in one to one which hopefully shows up there and I'm just going to move that box around until the coin virtually fills that box it's nice and central or roughly central <laughs> for this video <laughs> and then save it and as you can see there you get a nice clear picture when I zoom in of all the details I'm going to save that photograph. Right, on to using a loop with your camera. Now this is an Eschenbach 10 times loop and all I do is put my finger through there to secure it against the back of the phone and line up the loop with the camera lens. And centralise it over the camera and you can get in on your coin if you've got steady hands unlike me get a nice picture and edit it I'm going to transform that to a one to one ratio and hopefully we'll see some nice detail there and obviously at that point you know you can still zoom right in and obviously using the loop is um, very useful for taking photographs of very small coins like this 150th gold Krugerrand that Silver Siren sent me for Christmas <laughs> I can't even tell if it's the right way up it's this small hopefully that shows up on camera but um, yeah, shortly I'll upload some pictures that I have taken with that phone. Uh, they're pictures that I've posted on Instagram. And hopefully you'll see the results. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and uh, thank you all for watching.